Warning, the following contains content intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, peeps? Welcome back to another Before Episode Chat with me, your host, Zan19. We're back here. Is that Tataru wearing a... Oh my god, she is. She's wearing a goofy little hat. And this woman looks tired. Oh my. Uh, we're back in-game. I'm here in the, uh, the Forgotten Night to do my level 52 and level 54 uh, Dark Knight quests, because in the process of grinding out to get the Ishgardian Knight armor from the Dusk Vigil, I, uh, <laughs> I kind of hit level 54. So now I'm a, a lot overpowered. Uh, I say a lot, not really. I'm slightly overleveled for the quests I'm doing right now, but that's fine. Uh, very quickly the quests will catch up to my level. Uh, in like three or four quests, it puts you right up to level 55 or something. It's ridiculous. Um, anyways, yeah, in order to get into the main story quest and to get these uh, particular quests done, I have to dive on in. So let's do just that. Oh god, so hungry. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Delicious. You might have noticed. Wearing a new set of armor. It took forever and a day. Martial greatsword, Ishgardian knight's helmet, armor, gauntlets, trousers, sepultons, and the ring. Everything else is better, so I just I didn't bother getting it. So yeah, see, see, dare you? Let's do this. The knight and the maiden fair. Salted earth creates a patch of salted earth. Dealing unaspected damage with a potency of 75 to any enemies who enter. Ha! Oh! Nice! Nice! I'm gonna have to set that up with a, uh, a macro. So that it'll always place on the target that I'm targeting. Sidergu would entrust a fellow Dark Knight for aid. I see you yet walk the path, Creed, and it is well that you do. This is a matter I can only discuss with another Dark Knight. Swear to me that you will speak of it to no one else. Dude, I'm cool with that. Thank you. Then I shall begin at the beginning. No, start at the end. Our master, in his final moments, spoke to Frey and me in riddles. A heart bleeds. A man weeps, a soul burns, thence comes to the darkness to consume. Yet even in the depths, the flame endures. Submit to the flame and harness the abyss. Frey and I did not understand his words. We hoped their meaning would become clear to us in the course of our duties as dark nights. And so we carried on following the creed, until one day we found her. Hi? Riel. <sighs> Go on, Riel. You can be trusted. Alright. Helion's blessings upon you, sir. Right then. She was fleeing from a unit of Temple Knights at the time who were clearly intent on doing her harm. Needless to say, Frey and I took issue with that and chose to intervene. We went to ground after that, but Frey was caught in streets while fetching supplies. I cannot protect her, Creed. Not from the Temple Knights, not by myself. I'm not even sure why they seek her. Only that, should I fail, her life is forfeit. Help me, Creed, and I shall share with you my arts. And when we have reached the limits of my knowledge, mayhap we can unravel the mystery of my master's final words together. I can offer you naught else. What say you? Hell yeah, man! <laughs> then it is settled. We shall both serve as her guardians. Don't you have something to say to Creed, Riel? Okay, don't say anything at all, you creepy little girl. Good God. <laughs> it's 
speak with Riel. Uh, she's not gonna say anything to me. Yes? What will you ask? Why did the Temple Knights want to hurt you? Probably rapey reasons. Where are your parents? Probably dead. What do you think of Sidergu? Ah, I actually want to know that one. He doesn't talk much. Not since Frey left. Sometimes he hardly speaks a word. Other times. But I know he would never hurt me. Okay. Let's ask the obvious questions then. Why did the Temple Knights want to hurt you? They, they said it was an abomination. That I had to die to atone for my sins. Bullshit. Where are your parents? Hi. Hi. Okay, uh... Nothing then? Excuse me. Creed, was it? You'll look after Sid too, won't you? Ah, she calls him Sid as well. Nice. Of course I will. Thank you. That put my mind at ease. Right, that's enough of that, to more important matters. Like I said before, I'm not quite sure why the Temple Knights are after really. They seem to believe something is wrong with her, but for the life of me, I cannot imagine what it could be. Maybe it's that thousand mom stare. However, there may be a way to find out. The other day, I overheard a curious tale from House Halion Orton Knight, recently returned from Camp Cloudtop. He spoke of Vanu healers who could see their patient's aether. So skilled were these healers that they could diagnose illnesses with a glance. It may be not more than a fantastical tale told by a man in his cups, but even so, if there is a chance we could learn from what, if aught, ails Riele, I dare say we must take it. Let us go to Clamp Cow <laughs> Camp Cloudtop and begin our search for a healer there. Okay. I fucking hate this place, but okay. If that's what you want, I'll go, I guess. Amen. Right then. The Vanu Vanu are not one to parley with outsiders under most circumstances. However, they may be willing to receive us if we come bearing a suitable offering. I am told they use Gastornis feathers in their rituals. Mayhap that would suffice. Creed, I must ask you to prepare our offering while I look after Riel. Riel. Once you have it, we can journey to Vundu Ok Bindu together and entreat one of their healers to examine her. Aw oh, man, they're gonna... You know what? They might not recognize me. I have completely different armor and a weapon since the last time I was here kicking their asses. Okay. Slay Gastorm uh, Gastornis and obtain their feathers. Okay. Come, Frostwim. We have shit to slay. God damn it. Seriously. worried for a second the other one would come over and be like, yo, what's up, bitch? Oh, okay. I just have to kill normal Gastornises. I'm fine with that. I can do that. I actually do not need grit on for this. levels higher than them, I'm finally strong enough to fight them with uh, grit off. 
These things have way too much HP. I know, this is not what I need to fight, but uh, it's best that I do. I should probably comment about the... Uh, oops. About the guild name. Uh, I joined a free company. Uh, just kind of off camera. To help me level up a little bit. And, uh, yeah. So there's that. Join the Golden Moogle. Yeah, enough said about that. <laughs> I'm getting an XP boost from this, so I can't really complain. Maybe if I uh, advertise the guild enough, some of them will start subscribing to my channel. <laughs> yeah, no, that's never gonna happen. Alright, I need something that's not a fucking tiny little kitten with wings to kill. Uh, there's one right there. Oh, dodge. Costs 860 MP now to use. Good god. I feel like my job's been nerfed. Alright. To the Vanu Vanu healer. Where? Oh god, please don't be. Oh no, what? Oh, oh I hate this place. Run away. Seriously? There we go. Had to wait for it to attack me so it would give up and go fight the other guy. in the actual hell? Food fight. Panicked Paisa. Weird. Weird. Just gonna avoid that. Like the plague. I have to admit, this place is really pretty. I just hate it so much. Maybe it's tainted by the fact that Emma, Lord Emma, was the one that uh, I had to follow around for this one. Ugh. Just want to beat him with a spoon. Oh, it's a Vanu healer. Hey. 
Hey, how's it going? What? Mistral Gale blows netherlings this far? Away with you! Away! Wait, wait, wait. Here's some feathers. Gastornor Gastornus feather. The colorful feather of the baleful Gastornus. Here, take these. Gastornus feathers? Huh. Netherling knows the ways of Vandu well. Let storm clouds give way to warm sunshine. Say your peace. Uh, you know, need this kid healed and all that fun stuff. Oh, look, here's my guys. Here they are. She will do as we ask, Creed. That's a she? What? Okay. Bring forth the child, Netherlings. Let me look upon her face and know her heart. Soft rains to soothe your heart, little one. Do not be afraid. Drink of the winds. Let thy soul take flight. Bathe in the mists and show me thy light. Come, come, show me thy light. What tempestuous winds rage beneath tranquil clouds. What great spirit dwells within you? Speak plain, Vanu. This is no child. This is... Ah! The Tramontane follows you, Netherlings. You cannot remain here. Be gone from our lands. Not a child. What? Wait. I don't... God damn it. Um... Ready your blade, Creed. We've been followed. What? Hell yeah, it's fighting time. Oh yeah. Oh, I want that sword. Over there. Someone's coming. I know who's coming and it's me in my pants. Let's do this. Um... Oh, I have to... Okay. Oh, god damn it. You little pussycat with wings. If you can't see it, it's literally a cat wearing a wing. Uh, wearing like a backpack that turns into wings. Gale cat. It's adorable. It is absolutely adorable. But also, fuck this thing for getting in my way. Yes, die. I'm gonna have to fight that, aren't I? I don't want to participate in this. Ah! Kiss off! Ain't got time for your shit. Dodge. yet? Died yet? Yes, okay. Okay. Survey the area. Where, oh where, is my next target waiting? My blade sings for your blood. Oh, there they are. Dishonored Temple Knights. Yes! Yes! Uh, Archer dies first. General rule of thumb. If they've got a uh, staff or a bow, they die first. Wow, look how fast they die compared to the stuff I was fighting minutes ago. This is ridiculous. This is how we gundu. Okay. I killed our pursuer- Oh, holy shit! It looks like some got past me. 
How's it going, Sid? That should be the last of them. Huh. I've seen these ones before. They don't answer to the Lord Commander, or so I hear. Bastards thought they could take us outside the city, away from prying eyes. Don't want to be seen murdering a girl in the streets of the Holy See, do they? Even their staunchest supporters couldn't abide by that. Oh god, fuck! Gonna have to redo his damn lines! I'm so excited for Salted Earth. I was wondering when the heck I was going to get that ability. I've seen other tanks use it a lot. Alright, let's try this one more time. Skip. 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 Seems our new friends... Our new friend has already abandoned us. Not for it then. Back to Ishgard we go. Come along, Riel. Is she... Is she a corpse? Like, revived by, uh... His dark side? Is that gonna be a thing? Because that would be an interesting vein for this, uh... Plot to go. Let's go to the Foundation. Get the hell out of this place. God. I hope the next place we go to is, uh... Falcon's Nest. I would love that so much. I love Falcon's Nest. God of Magic. Huh. I know who to pray to if I want to get some black magic spells then. Uh, the Forgotten Knight. I wonder, is that the whole quest? Yeah, apparently it is. So it's slowly going to reveal to me. slowly going to reveal to me the uh, the origins of this little girl. Hey, Sid. I trust you no longer dispute the true nature of the Temple Knights. Murderers and thieves who drape themselves in the trappings of righteousness. Do you not see, Creed? We are all the stand... All that stands between them and their prey. There is no justice for these monsters, save which we must deliver. I will see them answer for their sins, I swear it. If I have to drown in the abyss to see it done, I will. Creed. Creed, Sid. I... I want to thank you both for protecting me earlier, and apologize for getting you too hurt. Don't be foolish. You've not to apologize for. In any case, at least we learned something of our enemy's motives. Not that I have the faintest inkling of what the healer meant by great spirit. I do. Great spirit of pure badassery that leaks out of you. Sidergu shares his knowledge of the abyss. Salted Earth learned. Hell yeah! Alright. Uh, don't mind me, just gonna make a macro on camera. Uh, Slash M A Icon Not Incon, Icon Salted Earth Slash Target No Slash Ability Salted Earth Target Right? Is that right? Salted Earth Why didn't that work? Is it M icon? Yeah, M icon. And let's stick it right here and remove you. Let's target Sidergu. Activate Salted Earth. Didn't work. How about you? Activate Salted Earth. One sec. Okay, I'm, I'm simply an idiot. One second. 
uh, user macros. This one. It's AC, as in action, salted earth. Let's go ahead and replace that and target you and salted earth. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Hmm. Uh, I just blew my dark load all over his face. Uh, the ground is rendered void of all life, dealing unaspected damage to any who tread upon it. Ha ha ha! Yes! Yes! How often can I use that actions? Salted Earth. Uh, creates a patch of Salted Earth dealing unaspected damage. It's 21 seconds, I can use it every 45. Okay. Does it need to be targeted? I think so. Plunge sounds neat. Uh, delivers jumping attack with a potency of 200, Dark Arts potency 340, Dark Arts effect increases imminency. So this is one of those uh, jumping abilities. Abyssal Drain. Oh. Oh my. That's gonna go right on number six. Soul Survivor. Oh. 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 -ho -ho. Carve and Spit. Delivers a threefold attack with a potency of 100. Also restores MP if not under the effect of Dark Arts, but if used with the effect of Dark Arts, it's a potency of 450. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, love this. Okay. On to the next quest before I lose my mind. Kindred spirits. Getting plunged with this one. The words of the Vanu Shaman yet trouble Sidergo. So a great spirit dwells within Riele. If that shaman is to be believed. We need answers, Creed. And I can think of no one better than to ask those who commune with great spirits regularly. I speak of Gridani as conjurers, who can hear the voices of the Dwellwood, or so it is said. It's just as well. Frey told me she had an aptitude for their arts. What had taken hidden moons to learn, she mastered in days. Sometimes these talents run in the family, he said. Mayhap her ancestors were conjurers after a fashion. Whatever the reason, there, are no, there is no guarantee it was related to what the shaman said, or why the temple knights wish her dead. If past experience is any indication, they will be tracking us the moment we leave the city. It's not a question of if they will attack us, but when. Alright, no worries. But you will be ready for them, I see. Then let us be off. The road should be safe so far as Camp Dragonhead. Okay. If we're going all the way to Gridania, Camp Dragonhead's only like the halfway point, man. Oh. Let's go to the south. There they are. Jog on over here. Frostworm! Get back out here. I'm gonna have to drop over to Bent Branch Meadows at some point and buy more, uh, more, uh, Gishal Greens. They're close. I can feel it. Stay with Riella. I will scout the road ahead to the observatorium. Follow at a distance. They come to whatever it takes to see her safely inside the walls. Okay. Good. That's a promise. Uh, duh. Oh, great! It's an instance fight. Please be safe, Sid. I'm ready, Creed. Whenever you are. Okay. Let's get moving, then. It's gonna be an escort mission. Damn it. I hate these so much. Riel the Voiceless. They say voiceless. Let's go, then. I don't see anyone. Better not see anyone. Pop grid.
There they are! Summon the others! Oh, they're behind me. Oh shit, they're on chuckabos. They found us! <laughs> ah, love that ability. Quickly. I like that it shows the timer. It didn't used to do that. Didn't used to, kid. This way, men! After them! God damn it. There's even more of them. Come here. Don't get too far ahead, kid. Damn. Surrender, girl! There's no escape! Stay back, all of you! make passionate love to this uh, douchebag. Uh, she's not healing me. Oh, she is like ages away. Jesus. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Seriously? How did I miss? Good God. Is she gonna hit? No, she's not. I don't think she can actually heal. They told me she could. I haven't seen her heal me, though. Something about conjurers my ass. You are meddling in the affairs beyond your kin! Eh, fuck off. G get away from us, I'm warning you! A black chuckabo. Oh, she did cure me, and it was a massive cure, too. What the fuck? Gah, you'll live to regret this! There are the gates, Creed, just a little further. Come on. Keep running. We made it, Creed. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess? I'm so confused. I'm frizzled. Hey, Sid. Creed, thank the gods you're all right. Ugh, I should have known they would strike when we were apart. They're certain to return with reinforcements ere long. We must press on to the south into Gridanian territory. Until we reach the city proper, we cannot be assured of safety. We leave now, Riel. You can rest once we reach Stillglade Fane. I'm gonna happen upon him, like, fighting them off, aren't I? Still Glade Fane. That is... Oh. Well, geez. Okay, never mind. I just have to go straight to Gerdania and talk to him. Unless I get there and they're not there. Then I have to go search for them. Oh god, that'd be awful. Guild, Ethernet, uh, Conjurer's Guild, please. Thank you. Plex and Taxu. So you wanna be a conjurer? No. La la, la 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 la.
la 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 Hey, dude. Greetings, Creed. How may I be of service? Uh, have you seen my friends? A great spirit, is it? If it, if it please, I would examine this girl myself. That is not what I said, but okay. It is the very least I can do for one who has ever been a friend of the Twelveswood. Ah, but where are they? Oh, God damn it! I fucking called it! I'm gonna have to hunt them down, aren't I? Oh, nope. There they are. Apologies for our late arrival. Riel grew tired, and I had to carry her part the way. I could have kept walking. Our burdens need not be our own, child. There is no shame in sharing the weight. Who's the boy? Ah, ha. I am Brother Isumiyan, master of this guild. And though there labor to believe it, young man, I am several times your age. Tur! <laughs> you must be Riel. Creed has told me all about you. Pray come closer and take ease. I ask that you close your eyes and listen to my words. Are we gonna finally learn what this kid actually is? She got pointy ears. She doesn't have the horns though, so she can't be part of his race. Breathe deep. Feel the myriad life around you. Be as one with the world. Well? Huh. The Vanu Shaman spoke true, after a fashion. Her spiritual presence belies her years. It is clearly not the product of training, rather an innate power from which she radiates, akin to that of the Elementals, or the Dravanians. You can't be serious. She's just a girl. Yes, she is. A very special girl. Mayhap you are familiar with the tale of the boy and the dragon gay. <laughs> what? N no. Hardly surprising. The Archbishop declared it a heretic's tale, and with good cause. It is a corruption of the older legend, in which a man partakes of dragon blood and in doing so, becomes one himself. Rumor has it that the heretics hold such rituals for this purpose, and if there is truth in such tales. Perchance she has ingested, blo ingested the blood of an ancient dragon. What? She's not some half-crazed lunatic! I make no accusations, only offer a possible explanation. Moreover, who is to say that she did so knowingly? Y you Excuse me, I... Ah, pray forgive me. I did not mean to cause you distress. You have nothing to fear, my child, for you are in perfect health and blessed with two loyal guardians. Would that others could say the same. I think Riel would benefit from a brief respite before returning to Ishgard, unused to the rigors of the road as she is. Why not show her to Carlane Canopy? An eel pike would do wonders for the soul. We thank you for your time. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, let's get going, kid. Okay. So the kid basically has the soul of a dragon inside her. That's so badass, I can't even think straight. <laughs> oh, man. I just want to pat her little head. Be like, aren't you just a cute little scaly? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I didn't mean for it, but it seems like this whole time I'm just going to be doing these two quests. Uh, oh, good lord. Where do I... I think Gridania... The right plaza is close? Ah, no, I should have gone to the, the airship landing. Damn it. Ah, well, it's fine. It's not like I can't walk an extra two feet over to the place. 20,000 feet. In the making! <sighs> Where am I? What's going on? There's Sidergu. Hey, Sid. 
Oh, I gotta talk to the girl. How you doing? What is she eating? Looks like an apple. Fairy tales and fantasy. That is what he has to offer us. Heretics, I understand, but I expected better from the bloody head of the Conjurer's Guild. Dude. And you, why didn't you speak up for yourself? Really? There were no windows, just walls of stone with little cracks to tempt your fingers, and iron bars colder than ice. I couldn't tell when it was raining, whether it was day or night. She didn't say I drank blood. All she said was, it's better this way. Oh, shit. At least if they catch me, they'll just kill me this time. Oh, damn. She knew. Can I finish my apple? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Damn. Holy shit. Damn. It's not a sin if someone made you do it. I didn't. I won't let them hurt you. Oh, I won't let them hurt you. I know. You want another one? No, thank you. Right then. Wow, he's like an uncomfortable dad. Keep an eye on her until she's finished eating, would you? Sure, man. I could do with some fresh air. Okay, clear your head. Do what you gotta do, man. Now, uh... You gonna tell me anything important now that he's not around? Or are you just gonna vanish into thin air? What the f- Oh, okay. Whew. Whew. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Damn. I had flashbacks to my two-year-old. Just vanishing while I'm staring at her. Oh god. Uh. Thank you for waiting with me, Creed. Shall we go and find Sid? Sure. And she vanishes while I'm staring at her. God damn it. Every time. Oh. Uh. Huh. Well, that was pretty far. What's up? Well, I've had my fill of the forest. Back to Ishgard then. I think Riel and I can manage on our own for now. Shall we? Okay. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? I guess not. He's back in the... Yeah, he's back in the Forgotten Night. Well. He needed my help getting down here, but he did not need my help getting back. I don't know if I'm concerned about that or not. I feel concerned about that. Alright. Forgotten Night. So, she's ingested dragon's blood. Hot damn. Thick and salty. Sounds like she's got a severe case of Vampiris Sapirum. How's it going, Sid? That was a blessedly uneventful journey. Mayhap the Temple Knights were still nursing their injuries you gave them. Riel was worried they might try to ambush you on the road, but I assured her you would be fine. I must apologize, Creed, for all you've done for us. I fear I have yet to adequately recompensate you. I will continue to share with you the skills that I have. Alas, I fear we near the limits of my knowledge. Plunge. Haha. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, Zedaru shares his knowledge of the Abyss. I love the symbol of the Dark Knight that pops up behind me when I get that. I really want to test this out. And we've got 15 minutes left, so let's get the hell back out to where we were going. Uh, Falcon's Nest, please. I won't be able to do the next quest until I'm level 56. I'm a fresh level 54? Yes. 
Profile. Classes. Oh, I'm almost level 55. Jesus. Uh, let's see. In order to get there, I need to talk to... The Choco Keep. Up here. I made sure to set this up beforehand so I could get back quickly. Hire Choco Porter. I want to go to the Convictiary. It's 150 gil, or 105 gil, and it's going to take one minute. We <laughs> Don't look down if you're afraid of heights. Oh, this is like straight out of WoW. Summon de forth your black de chuckabo. There's that ruined camp with its destroyed aetherite. <sighs> Almost there. The hell is that? That looks cool. What is that though? Here we are. <laughs> Thanks. That was fun. Alright. Back into the thick of things. Repair my gear real quick. Not that it really needs it. It's just better if I do. Luciali? Looking for heretics, you say? Huh. Why don't you go and bother Pyrocret or something? I have enough trouble keeping these preening fops fed and clothed as it is. Tis no business of mine what folk do with themselves out there in the wilds. Wow. They are slacking off. Good way. Alright. Hey man. What do you know of heretics? Some I can help you with, Lord. Yeah, I need to know about some heretics. Heretics, is it? Well, I've never seen one myself. But that ain't to say I haven't heard a thing or two. Oh, good. Finally somebody who knows something. We would be... <clears throat> we would be grateful for any information you can share with us. The gods know we've gleamed precious little from talking to the rest of these... people. If it please, my lord, I'm Paraquet, a soldier by trade. Though not much of one, if I'm honest. If it weren't for the love of stabbing folk that I took up the spear, see? No, it was by order of Sir Jaliant's father. Still, as long as they've been paying me wages, I ain't fussy as to what they have me do. Not everyone's as patient as me, though. Plenty of low-born lads get pressed into service, start grumbling before they've seen the second battle. And once they've got to thinking how unfair it all is, it don't take much for the heretics to turn their heads. From what I hear, the simple promise of freedom tends to do it. That may well explain how Lady Iceheart was able to expand her following so swiftly. That and her huge tits. Tits tend to help with that. Sad to say, some mates of mine gobbled down the heretic's track and asked for seconds. Told me they were off to the western highlands to light a signal fire. That's how you let the heretics know you're serious about joining the ranks, apparently. Send up some purple smoke and the bastards come to you. Okay, that's good enough to know. Is that so? Well then, I am minded to start a fire. Me too, man. Purple Flame is the next quest. Frostbeard, please get out of Estinian. Giggity. Purple Flame, Purple Flame. Estinian wishes to prepare a signal fire to lure in the heretics. If we are to lure our foes to our position, then we must find a way of producing a signal of blue, of purple hue. As it so happens, I once heard a tale of a trapper who dropped the hide of a woolly yak onto his campfire. Aside from the terrible stench, the story also described in detail how the smoke from the smoldered flames was tinged a deep violet. You are a monster hunter of some note, are you not, Creed? It should prove a trifling task for you to procure a number of hides. We may need to burn more than one 
ere the heretics notice our beacon. Master Alpha Note, you and I shall gather wood for the fire. Aye, it'll take the both of us to find enough dry fuel in this frozen wasteland. Let us meet again in the Dreaming Dragon with the fruits of our labor. Alright. I can go kill some yaks, I guess. There's a big ass polar bear over there. Where am I going? To the north. Me hop on me, Chucky Boo. Come, Frostwyrm. Past the congealed slimes of jizz and sadness. There's one. Right? That's one of the things? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just gonna grab this aether current while I'm standing literally right next to it. Alright, bitch. Plunge! Well, that was not as uh, energetic as I would have hoped it to be. It was a pretty much a jumping attack akin to uh, a Dragoon, but still, what the hell. It's not as interesting as I would have liked it to be. I was gonna say, does Salted Earth get powered up by Dark Arts? But I already know it doesn't. Sprint. Pop Dark Arts. Plunge! Ah! Dude, it was, it was not so much a plunge as it was a leaping somersault attack. Holy crap. That was badass. And Salted Earth is an ability that just pops whenever. And it lasts for 21 seconds. Three cans of yak milk. I don't know if I actually wanted to have uh, gotten that off a drop, thanks. Oh shit, where the hell do I go now? Um. Uh. Frost room, come on. <laughs> it might take the rest of this episode just to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go from here. Wow, look at that. The shit is that? Is that that dragon he was talking about? What is this? It is the dreaming dragon. Damn! Oh yeah, that kind of looks like a head. Jesus. Ah, some gelato. Not the good kind of gelato, the evil gelato. Ice commander? I'm just gonna run this way. Wait, the fuck? Oh, please don't be on top of the rock. Oh, God damn it! All right, fine. What's up, Estenian? It would seem that collecting firewood is a new experience for Master Alphino. His must have been a privileged upbringing. <clears throat> have you the hides we need? Yes, yak hide. The bristling hide of a now hideless yak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I tore their hide off with my bare hands. The fact that it smokes purple like that scares me. What in the world would you need in your skin for it ah, to burn purple? I should have known it would be you. Ah, the bitch is speaking. Oh, hi. Word reached me of a struggle with a small but well-armed band of trespassers. Forgive my comrades their hostility. Few come here uninvited, and fewer still with good intent. Uh... Now, tell me why you are here. Sounds like you already know. We wish to stop Nitog's attack on Ishgard. So... You seek to stem the Dravanian tide with talk. A romantic notion. I'm married. If you but knew the truth, the spark which lit the flames of this animosity, you would understand the futility of your quest. 
It'd be easier to understand if you fucking explain. Instead of killing Shall everybody. I it to you? The sordid history my gift has shown me. That which the Holy See has taken such pains to suppress. Twas more than a millennium past when an Elizan tribe first sought to claim the lands of Kurthas as its home. Unfortunately for them, Kurthas was already home to Dragonkind, and they were not inclined to make way for the invaders. Thus did a bloody war begin. A war which might well have rumbled on until one or the other side was exterminated, had it not been for the resolve of a single woman. That woman's name was Shiva. Unsurprising. While those around her fought and died, she attempted to parley with the dragons, and in so doing discovered them to be possessed of profound intelligence and reason. The great worm Hraesvelgar in particular so enchanted Shiva that she found herself growing to love the creature, whom her people considered a monster. In the eyes of a near immortal dragon, however, the fleeting life of an Elizan is as that of a freshly cut rose. Scarce has the flower bloomed before it begins to fade and wither. Such melancholy musings plagued Hraesvelga, who had found in Shiva an unexpected and beloved soulmate. He knew that all too soon, death would snatch her away from him. Unable to bear the thought of their separation, the maid bid the worm consume her, that their spirits might be entwined for eternity. Though loath to perform the deed, Hraesvelgar ultimately gave in to her plea, and soon thereafter the tale of their ill-fated love spread throughout the two warring factions. No more could they raise blade or claw against one another, knowing that the souls of their kin were so inextricably bound. In the days that followed, man and dragon learned to live in harmony, and together built a nation unlike any the world had ever known. For 200 years did this blissful age of peace continue, as it would to this day, had vilest envy not stirred in the hearts of the Elizin. It is said that worms owe their longevity to the boundless reserves of vitality found within their eyes. And twas in this belief that a traitorous band of knights deceived their allies of some two centuries, and took by force that which they coveted. Nidhogg, he who now stands poised to unleash his wormlings upon Ishgard, was the great dragon who lost an eye to Ella's and treachery. And until he prizes it from the hands of the traitor's progeny, no amount of conciliatory words will stay his fury. You are wrong, Lady Iceheart. Lest you misunderstand, I do not doubt your vision of the past. Tis true that Nidhogg greatly desired to reclaim the Eye. Indeed. It was for that very reason that I kept it with me as I roamed the land, attempting to draw him away from the city. Good gods! Yep, that's an eye. Until recently, Nidhogg seemed unable to resist its allure and pursued me relentlessly. Needless to say, that is no longer the case. Now, it would seem, he has fixed his attention on Ishgard itself, though he knows full well the Eye does not reside there. You believe he targets the capital for another reason? I believe reason has all but left him. Through the Eye, I feel much of what Nidhogg feels. And the dragon's thirst for vengeance will not be quenched by aught less than a sea of blood.
If Nidhogg is indeed lost to reason, might we not seek an audience with Hraesvelger instead? Uh... Actually, that doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good going, kid. He has thus far shown no inclination to aid in the invasion of Ishgard, and may yet welcome our efforts to broker a peace. You still believe that a peaceable solution can be found? Very well. I will take you to him. Uh, that was unexpected. What the hell? Our road will lead us to Dravania, the homeland of Dragonkind. There we shall ascend unto the clouds, where Hraesvelger resides. Uh... Okay. Oh god. Ah! The fuck? My hole burns! Giggity. What the... Oh my! Uh... The shit? Dude! Haha! <laughs> the first seal has been r restored? The crystal has been restored? I'm getting some power back. Nice. Still hurts like fuck though. Oh god. Is oh, they didn't even miss, notice. My friend? Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. I sense the many battles are beginning to take their toll. Rest a while. And should you lose sight of us, Dravania lies beyond the mountains to the west. Ah, I'm coming. Curious. The vestiges of thy mistress's blessing are not as faint as once they were. Thy will to succeed grants thee unusual fortitude, but will it be enough? Well, that's complete. You discover a new location. Twin pools. Cool. All right. Uh, let's keep moving. Where the chocobos roam. Ooh. Eh, I'm. I don't want a shirt. Holy rainbow shirt of fending. Because that's not flamboyant. I might just take it after all, though. We're the Chuckabo's realm. Lady Iceheart stands ready to lead you and your companions to Dravania. You are creed, yes? Pray address me as Ysali. If you wish. It is passing strange, is it not? That fate would bring us together thus. Never did I think I would walk alongside the warrior of light. But history is full of unexpected alliances. Shall we make our way to Dravania, then? The chill of the western highlands is unrelenting. And I would sooner be under the sheltered canopy of the Chuckabo Forest. Chuckabo Forest? Canopy? What the hell? Is it gonna be like some ugly ass pine trees? Come, Frost, we are. We are already over time. Let us quicken our pace. Uh. How do I get through here? Oh, I just. I keep going north. Ice Commander's like, I'm gonna tear a hole in your ass, and I'm gonna shove my icicle in it, and you're going to like it, and beg for more. Um. Beyond um. Abalathia's spy. The great mountain range that spans the continent of Aldenard from east to west. 
into the deepening shadows of Som Arl, where lies the ancient home of Dragonkind. To a land where the soil slithers and the sky seethes with sinuous shapes, they came. G giggity? Uh. Okay. Thank you all Good for watching, Lord. peeps. If you liked the video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, your host, Sun19, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.